All right, hey everybody, this is Desires Only. <clears throat> I wanted to come in and just document this for my own sake worth because I feel like I could just go half crazy after what has happened to me today. If you follow me on Facebook, you know part of the story and you know what restaurant I went to where this happened to me today. Now... Okay, so I went to um, this restaurant. I went through the drive-thru. And let me turn this off because this is distracting. Um, so I went through the drive-thru to get my food. And I was sitting behind this lady and she had a little red Pontiac vibe or whatever. <sighs> Can I have blah, blah, blah? And what blah, blah, blah? What's number five? What What is that? Blah, blah, blah. And then the person's like, oh, well, that's a bun and, you know, some chicken and blah, 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 and a, um, a kernel sauce. And then she says, what? I, I don't understand that. Kernel's sauce, ma'am. What? I really felt like saying it's a kernel sauce, okay? She couldn't even understand what the lady was saying. Mind you, I'm sitting one car length behind this heifer and... I can understand clearly what the bitch is saying over the intercom. But she can't and she's sitting right on it. What? What is that? Then she says, oh, well, I don't want that. Can you just put mustard on that instead? No, we don't have mustard. Oh, okay, well, no sauce then, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm sitting there thinking, you can't understand shit, but you're in a drive-thru. You would be better off ma'am, to just go and, you know, make your own at home. Instead of come here and sit in the drive through for 10 minutes and waste somebody's time about, oh, I understand what that is. I don't understand what that is. Can you elaborate on that? I don't understand what that is. Blah, blah, blah. Can you help me pick this out? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what that is. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Like, you would be, seriously, you would be better off to go to your home and make your own. I mean, is it that hard? Then we sit there. She pays the lady. And she does not give her a $5 bill. Because I do believe that bill was like $6. So she had a $1 bill. And then she had to count through her purse to collect $5 worth in quarters. Five dollars and quarters. I was really just about to go off because I'm thinking, okay, how come you just can't give the, you know, how come you just can't give her a debit card or a credit card or, you know, something instead of having to count through your damn purse for five dollars and quarters? What is that? Okay. Then, I go up, I order my food, blah, 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 and then they ask me what two sides I want, and I got potato wedges, and I got some macaroni and cheese. <clears throat> I get home, <clears throat> and I'm sitting in this chair, just eating my chicken and my, you know, my little biscuit, I have a piece left right here, and my potato wedges and my macaroni and cheese, and... Please tell me why, Lord Jesus, I just looked into that potato wedge box, okay? <sighs> I found a half-eaten potato wedge in my potato box. Who does that? I just threw that shit out because, let me be for real. <clears throat> I do not want some nasty snaggletooth bitch's mouth herpes in my mouth. I don't want that. Okay? She probably contaminated the whole damn batch of potato wedges with her damn herpes. What is this? Okay? You're really gonna just dig down into some damn batch of potato wedges, bite one off, and throw it back in there like nothing happened? Who the hell does that? Please explain to me. I need to know... Who the hell does that? Okay? 
That just ruined my entire lunch. I have this box of chicken. Um, it's barbecued and it smells good. However, I have not even started on this yet. And I love some honey barbecued chicken strips. But when you give me a box of potato wedges that has a half-eaten potato wedge in it, oh, we have a problem. Oh, we, that's just nasty. I'm going to eat my little chicken, but I won't be going there anytime soon because that's nasty. You're really going to give somebody a half-eaten damn potato wedge? <sighs> KFC has some trifling ass whores, and I, I can't deal with these whores. I just, I just cannot do that, okay? Because like, you're going to sit somewhere and give me a half-eaten potato wedge? Are you serious? You have to be out of your damn mind. If you really think, I'm going to give you $10 for a meal, and you're going to sit somewhere in your ass and take, you're going to dig down in the potato wedge batch, get one, bite the shit off, throw it back in there, jumble them around so it looks like you didn't even do anything, and then you give it to somebody? You have some mental problems, okay? You need to go get that checked out. Please go and evaluate your damn life if you need to. Like I tell some people, go to the dollar store, get a legal pad, get a pack of red pens, and sit down in a seat and take some damn notes because that's nasty as hell. Oh, I just can't deal with the people that work at KFC sometimes. I just can't do that, okay? To me, that is so nasty. Like, oh, I, I don't even know. that, And I'm, oof, I'm just so glad that they just separated the... My biscuit and my mass or my macaroni and cheese for my potato wedges because I could not do that. Couldn't do it. So, hey, so be it. I've got a little Dr. Pepper, so I might just still drink that. Ooh, and I have this chicken. I'm still going to eat that because, hey, I paid for it, but I can't do the potato wedges. I cannot do that. Because, like I said, I don't want some snaggletooth ass bitches have mouth herpes in my mouth. Oh, no. Uh-uh. I, no. Okay? No. I, I just will not even deal with that. So, I'm going to need home girl, home, you know, home skillet, home slice, whatever the hell Shanae wants to be called. I'm going to need her to go and evaluate her life and get a new job because that's ridiculous. So, shaboom, boom, Shanae, whatever the hell. Go get a new job. Evaluate your damn life because that's nasty. I don't deal with that, okay? Some people might say that I'm being ignorant and just mean. Oh, no. It's it's a matter of having mouth herpes or, you know, what what are some other diseases? Um, mouth cancer, which I know that's not even contagious. Um... I don't know. Syphilis, I, you know, I don't know, but I don't want that in my mouth. I don't need that in my food. That is nasty, okay? <sighs> oh, just please pray for me. Pray for these whores around here because they need the prayer. Shaboom Boom needs the prayer as well because I can't deal with her, okay? You are a nasty, snaggletooth ass bitch, and you know it. I'm sorry, but I just can't do that, okay? So don't give me some damn potato wedges that you ate off of and then put it back in there. Don't do that. Ew. Whoa, Lord, I just cannot. Mm -mm. <sighs> keep me in my prayer. Keep me in your prayers because I'm telling you, but I call KFC corporate, they are going to get an earful because I don't even know if I really want to call them because that's nasty. Because you know what? I just put that shit in my food disposal and disposed of the shit. I didn't even want to see it anymore, so, okay, so, that's all I had to tell you, that's all I wanted to speak on, but that's nasty, so, just keep shaboom boom in your prayers, because homegirl needs to go and evaluate her damn life, and get a new job, so, I'll be talking to you guys later, have a blessed day, bye.